This is a 1976 Mary Tiller Cadet which we bought a few months ago for £110. This 47 year old tiller still works really well even after hours of using it. I've used it on hard ground and even dug through a lot of grass to make new patches and I've only had to replace 3 bolts but it does still have a few problems. It has a bad oil leak coming from the drive chain, the guards above the tines keep coming loose, the front wheel is stuck in the up position after it snapped the bolt trying to tighten the guards and one of the pins holding a tine on was too small and it fell out so I had to replace it with a nut and bolt and the drive belt is too tight so the tines are always spinning. A Mary Till has a few adjustments, there is a handlebar height adjustment and a depth adjustment. The depth adjustment changes the depth of your till. To transport the tiller, pull the wheel forward and then down to lock it in place. Some other tills have wheels that come off when you're using it and are held on with a pin. To start the tiller, set the throttle to full, then set the switch on the engine to choke and pull the cord once or twice. Then move the switch to run and pull in the cord to start up the engine. Now the tiller is running, you can pull the leaf on handlebars to make the tines move, and the tiller will start to move forwards. You can slow it down by pushing down the handlebars, and speed it up by pulling up slightly on the handles. A tiller is definitely worth the money if you have a large garden. Over the few months that I've had the tiller, it has turned months of digging into just a few days work. If you want to learn more about Mary Tillers, there is a link in the description to a page with lots of information about Mary Tillers.